Hey one, how's it going? I just installed this hand shell power frunk. There's no power trunk, but this is a power frunk. You can auto open and close. So this is the latest version, version 5.x. So it has the intelligent induction, personalized customization of the struts, exclusive for hand shell, double rod struts, is original car key control so you can open and close with your phone key as well as on your display it has an audible sound when you open and close it has waterproof wiring unlike the previous version it has height adjustment and it also has intelligence anti-pitch so if there's an obstacle and it hits it it won't close all the way so let me show you what i've done so far so this is the frunk with the HEPA filter, the frunk tray removed, as well as the, the cover on top. The first step I did, and there's a lot of tutorial on how to do, I'll post all the link in the description, but this is overall the whole process. It took about 30, 30 minutes or so. Um, I essentially start with the struts. So I remove the struts on the right side first. So by unlatching that with a flathead screwdriver, then I use a ratchet for the bottom and then attach the new hinge from Hanshaw's, the black one right there. Let me get it in focus. There you go. So it aligns with that hole in the frame and then just clip it on. So I did the same thing on the driver's side. It's a little tighter on this side, but it's not impossible to do. You still use a flathead screwdriver. So I use a small, it has to be long enough though. So make sure you have a long enough screwdriver, flathead, unbolt the top, and then same thing on the bottom. So remove the original OEM struts, and then I install that new bracket, the black one right there that attached to the hole. So that's the first step. Then I installed this piece here by removing the lock mechanism and installing that. This is probably very easy to do compared to trying to remove the struts that took the longest. Once you figure out the, drive, the passenger side, you will be able to do the driver's side fairly quickly. I recommend doing the passenger side first because there's more room. And then once you figure out how to remove it with the tools you have, then you can do the driver's side. And then the rest is just plug and play. So what, what I want to share with everyone is that you want to start plugging in the wires. It's intimidating when you look at the wires. So you want to plug in the struts first, then the ground wire, which we we bolt it here onto the other ground wires on the driver's side. And then the motor mechanism, we plug this in and then attach the wires here. Also attach the splitter here for the release mechanism. And then before you plug in this module, this computer module, you wanna plug it in to your 12 volt battery first and then plug this in. Because if you do this first and then you do your 12 volt connection, it's gonna cause an error. So plug in the power and then plug in this computer box. That will resolve any errors you have. So I did it in reverse. I actually plugged this box in, then did the 12 volt, and then this light start flashing. So this is just your, your front light with the, the auto front opener. So we can test this out now you can use this to open or close. So when you press it, it will close. Soft close as well. When you open it, you can do it whether you're on your app, on your phone key, or you can do it from the actual display. So let's do it from the display.
So it opens fairly quickly. It gives you that chirp sound. And that's really it. Really easy to install as long as you have the tools. Again, a flathead screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver. It should be at least four inches long. And a flashlight. As well as a uh, 10, um, 10 millimeter socket. And you're good to go. Everything else is just plug and play. All the wires are designed to fit a specific plug, so you can't mess it up. It's just make sure you plug in the computer last after you plug in the 12 volt battery. And if you're wondering if you can close this manually, you can. So let's say you don't want to use the power. Once you give it a little tug, it will give way. And then it's also soft close. So check this out. Instead of trying to push it with both hands, you can do it one finger. Soft close. Awesome engineering with this kit. So highly recommend if you're interested in this uh, auto frunk. Comes in handy because everything else is automated including the frunk and trunk. But just overall is it's just makes a vehicle feels a lot more premium. Yeah, let me let me open it from the inside so you can see. So it's a little violent when it opens, but I think that's because when the latch is open, the struts try to push it up at the same time. It works simultaneously, but because it's trying to push this front up, uh, eventually the struts will loosen up and you have less tension and it shouldn't be a problem anymore. And with the Y, you don't have to worry about too much stress um, on this actual front itself because it has this lever to protect it. The three on the other hand, it connects directly to the struts. So I believe that kit is, uh, is a little bit less um, stress on the front itself. But for this, you don't, really don't have to worry about it. All right, so hopefully you find this video helpful in deciding if you want a automatic front for your Tesla Model Y. Again, you can do it with the app inside your car or press this emergency release button in your front. Soft close. Catch you all next time.